Okay, guys. Hey, good morning. It's uh, Saturday. I think it's the 4th, isn't it, baby? Yes. All right. So, um, I think this upcoming Tuesday will be two weeks since uh, my neurosurgeon, Dr. Rebecca Stackniak in Plano, uh, did a marvelous job of helping me recover from severe cervical disability. And I've been wearing a hard collar for going on a couple of weeks. Um, looked around for my tripod this morning, couldn't seem to find it. Think your daughter has it? Well, she can have it. So the DW is going to help me this morning. It's time to remove these stereo strips because they're itching me like mad. Take that one little stitch out too. And there's a stitch in there that needs to come out too. If y'all remember the old video, last time I did this two and a half years ago, it was the Gons that took that out. This time I got the DW. And my hands are clean, but I'm not going to wear gloves since I'm married to him. Well, I don't know about you. You're, you're kind of scary. And my instruments are clean. And All right. So um, this is a big step. And uh, I'm still wearing a hard collar regularly. So not having my collar on right now is a little bit disconcerting. Uh, and I am having some pulsatile type uh, shock waves that are shooting down my uh, back and into my arms. Um, but you know what, I feel like I'm on the road to recovery, so I'm pleased about that. So you guys have been so awesome to uh, share your prayers and your love, and I thought I'd share this experience with you too. So DW, it's all on you. All right, you ready to get these stereo strips off? No. They do hurt though. I'm gonna try to hold the camera here. I know I've got a little tripod that my darling daughter has absconded with. You know, I got that little tripod for about $5 on Amazon, and it has been, ooh, that hurt. I'm sorry. Well, I can't shave because, you know, the stickers and all that. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, these are pretty attached. Am I shaking too much? Nope, you're doing good. Am I doing all right? Can you get to it all right? Yeah. Ooh, that hurt. Ooh, ooh, you, it's, ooh, ooh, it's got hair, baby. Okay. I'm sorry. You do what you got to do. You, you do what you got to do. Um... I found a video that I made a few days before I had surgery, and um, I didn't like it because uh, the fact of the position I had to be in to, to get the procedure done, but it was a gentleman called Spelunker, and he had a pilar cyst. It was a very liquid cyst, so I removed it. We got the sack, and he came back in for the follow-up in the the closure was just absolutely beautiful. I mean, you could barely tell this man had had surgery at all. And unfortunately, I did not get the, uh, the follow-up picture. Ooh, oh, I'm sorry. Ooh, 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 it's I'm got sorry. a hold of that stitch. Oh. Mm. It's okay. okay. You do what you got to do. I'm okay. Um, but I'm going to get that sent out so folks can kind of see that one, give them something to look at that might be interesting other than seeing me get worked on by a fine registered nurse here well look at that that's not so bad looking is it no nope. i wonder if uh i wonder if adam will be able to uh focus in a little bit on that how's that look not too bad not too bad good I make my arms a little shaky here it's just the position though i'm not hurting guys don't worry i'm not hurting so the medicines i'm currently on one of which is called uh dexamethasone you know, let me swallow, okay. Uh, dexamethasone is a very potent uh, steroid anti-inflammatory to help prevent swelling in the area of the operation and to uh, help prevent uh, nerve impingement. And uh, unfortunately, it has a side effect of doing two things to me. One, it, it, uh, it tends to make me feel really there anxious. You you got it already? Yes, sir. You are the best. Uh, and the other thing is it makes me feel aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> it makes you really, really cranky, too. It makes too. me cranky and aggressive, so. Uh, his, uh, the nurse practitioners were texting me yesterday from work to come get him because he was so nasty. Well, look, you know, there's no reason I can't take care of my patients. My, my work is with my mind. And most all my patients are so wonderful. They understand that what I'm going through and they love me and 
and a lot of them they just they just want to know that I'm okay and I just had to say look if I'm if I come across a little bit too aggressive or forceful or whatever it's not it actually looks really good does it really yep okay that's what I want to be sure just had to let them know I love them and we're gonna get through this together and they were just fantastic there I think you go. All my patients. What about that top up there? Is that is that on okay right there? Well, you're gonna have to push it down on the hair. A little bit right there. So obviously I can't shave in this area yet. So I've decided just to let grow what's gonna grow. And um, the pain continues. I, I will be honest and say I am still having quite a bit of pain, but I think it's okay. I think I'm healing. I'm feeling these uh, pulses of. Uh, neurogenic pain that are just kind of, I call it pain, it's, pain's not really a fair word. It, it's, um, it's a sensation and it is a disconcerting sensation and it goes down the spine and I can feel it branch out. It goes right to my thumbs and pinkies bilaterally. So, um, it makes you feel odd. Um, I don't do well with the medications for neurogenic pain. I've never done well with uh, for example, gabapentin or uh, pregabalin, which would be Lyrica. Those medicines, they don't make me, they make me really feel odd, so I've never been able to use those. So for me, um, it's just a matter of dealing with it and getting through the day. Darling, I think you did a beautiful job. Well, thank you. And hopefully that's going to reduce some of this itching I'm having. You know, here we are in the hottest month of the year in August in Texas, southeast Texas, with the high humidity and wearing that hard collar is no no fun so i'll be putting uh looks good so well i'm gonna put a shirt on first and then i'll put it on thanks everybody and uh, i'll see if i can't get that other video because it does have it does have some interesting uh, aspects to it i'll see about getting it to you and uh thanks again so much for your care and your concern and your love and y'all have a great, wonderful Saturday. Bye-bye. Hey, folks. You spoke and we listened. Here's what you had to say about Meta7. I love it so much. It gives me so much energy during the day. I've noticed a change in my hair, my nails, my blood pressure. There's no doubt that it, it's, it's a benefit to me. It gives me more stamina. And it can actually help you lose weight. Now... I haven't taken a nap in six months. That's right, Meta7. More and more people are sending in their testimonials. Weight loss, more energy, and generally feeling more alert during the day. Let's hear more. I used it to help wean myself off caffeine and energy drinks, and my productivity has been very high lately. It's natural, it's amazing. I feel motivated to get out and do things that I didn't before. I'm not tired during the day. I've worked 12 hour shifts. Just go, go, go all day. It makes me feel great, I love it, and um, take it. It's wonderful stuff. If you haven't tried Meta7 yet, it's time to order yours from Amazon. Time to boost your metabolism and kick your energy level into high gear. There's an Amazon link in the description.